Morning kids, Rishi Sunak's government set itself five tests for us to judge whether they're doing a good job. And as of today, I think it's safe to say that they failed on all five. And you might remember those tests because they mentioned them in pretty much every interview they've done in the last six months. Five promises. We will halve inflation, grow the economy, reduce debt, cut waiting lists and stop the boats. Those are the people's priorities. They are your government's priorities and we will either have achieved them or not. No tricks, no ambiguity. We're either delivering for you or we're not. So I ask you to judge us on the effort that we put in and the results that we achieve. So how have they done? Priority one, halving inflation by the end of the year. Well, in January, when they made that promise, inflation was at 10.5%. It's now at 8.7%, giving us the highest level of inflation among the top G7 economies. And not only does that mean that they're already on track to fail, but when they start doing Brexit import checks on goods coming from the EU over the next year, even Jacob Rees-Mogg says that will make prices go up even more. Priority two, growing the economy. Well, our economy actually shrank in March. And remember, this is a deliberate decision not to grow our economy, because they've already said that rejoining the EU single market would grow our economy, they're simply choosing not to do that. Priority three, reducing national debt. Well, our national debt has grown bigger than our entire economy for the first time in 62 years. Priority four, cutting NHS waiting lists. Well, there are now a record 7.4 million people waiting for treatment. And 4.4 million of that was before COVID, so most of that is just life under a Tory government. Which brings us to today. Priority five, stopping the boats. You know, the disgusting policy whereby even though the Home Secretary says that there's no legal way to enter the UK to claim asylum, anybody who tries to enter the UK to claim asylum should be punished by sending them to Rwanda. Based on the idea that if they're coming from France, France being a safe country, they're not really asylum seekers. But let's follow that logic through. That means that the UK, one of the wealthiest countries in the world that is still selling weapons that are being used to kill civilians in the Middle East, which means that we're profiting from the very things that these refugees are fleeing, has no responsibility to take in refugees from the Middle East because what? France isn't at war? You're saying we're morally exempt because of geography. And so the plan was to discourage people from coming to the UK in small boats by telling them that if they do that, they'll be sent to Rwanda, a country which has had a genocide in the last 30 years and which shot 11 refugees dead five years ago for rioting about not getting enough food. Which is why today the Court of Appeal has ruled that Rwanda is not a safe place to send refugees, meaning that the Tories' main strategy for stopping the boats is now illegal. So Rishi Sunak, the unelected prime minister of a party that only minority voted for, set out five priorities by which to judge him, and he's failed all five, and yet he's still just hanging in there? I don't know about you, but I think I'm ready for a general election. Have a great week.